everybody. This is Will with Brothers in Arms Barbecue, and today we're going to be doing some pork spare ribs. I would like to feature today's product, which is Texas Pepper Jelly's Rib Candy and Craig's Barbecue Sauce. If you haven't had a chance to try these two products, I highly suggest you head on over to www.texaspepperjellies.com and they've got these products there ready for you. So today what we're going to do is pork spare ribs. And with that, I'm going to season these up real quick and then I'm going to throw them into the smoker and then about halfway through the cook, we're going to pull them out and I'm going to sh show you how we can utilize the rib candy. And then when, we're de then when we're done with the cook, we'll utilize the Craig's barbecue sauce. I think that uh, if you utilize these products, your barbecue is going to get to the next level. You're really going to love it. And if you haven't tried it yet, I highly suggest you do. So let's get to seasoning some ribs. So I've already got these ribs. Uh, pre-trimmed up and ready to go. I took the membrane off. That's what I like to do. So I'm going to season the back sides here a little bit. This is just your regular old salt and pepper mix. And just put a little bit on there. Uh, I've got some other products that I'm going to use. I'm not showcasing these, but uh, we're going to apply these a little bit here. This is more of a sweet rub. I have found that if you use a combination of sweet and salty you tend to get some really good flavors some people like to use sweet and heat which is fine all right got that one on there nice then we're gonna use some of this one here real quick just add a nice thin layer of this one this one's kind of got a little bit of heat to it all right i'm gonna flip these over All right, now that we've got the ribs seasoned up, we're gonna put them in the smoker for about two and a half hours. friends welcome back the ribs have been in the smoker for about two and a half hours maybe two hours and 45 minutes uh, they've got a really nice color to them and I'll be showing you those here in just a second so the product that we're gonna be using today is Texas pepper jelly rib candy and the flavor is apple cranberry habanero now I can't say enough about this product it gives just the right amount of sweet some really nice heat that's not overpowering now a lot of people want to know what is the correct way to use this product is it a marinade is it a finishing glaze uh, do you use it during the middle of the cook well you know what it's pretty much a middle of the cook and a finishing glaze uh, the way that I like to use it is I smoke the ribs for a couple hours and then right before I wrap the ribs I'm gonna apply some light brown sugar and some of this product now Texas pepper jelly has a wide variety of flavors of the rib candy. Not only do they have the apple cranberry, they've got pineapple habanero, and they've got a whole bunch of other flavors that are definitely to uh, everybody's palate. Now, if you don't like that heat, what's really nice is that they offer the, the rib candy in a non-spicy version. So you can get it to where it's just the apple cranberry to where it doesn't have the habanero on it at all no spice whatsoever it gives that nice apple and cranberry flavor they also have things um, with brown sugar and a few other flavors that are really really good and set it off so here's what we're going to do we're going to take a rack of ribs and i'm going to do two wrapping methods the first method is going to be with foil now this pretty much steams the ribs as it's cooking and um, makes it a little bit more tender. Then the second method is I'm going to be using peach paper. 
Uh, you don't want to use white butcher paper because it has a lot of different toxins and other things that are only allowed for wrapping meat uh, for your freezer. Uh, so don't use white butcher paper. Use pink peach paper and it'll, it'll be very specific for it's basically cooking paper. So I'm going to take a rack of ribs. And these are some really nice spare ribs. I always start out with four, four pound spare ribs. And the reason I do that is because when you start out with a four pound spare rib, you get an even cook and it's always very meaty. So we're gonna apply some brown sugar to this. And we're just gonna be generous with it. All right, once we've got the brown sugar on there, I like to take the, the rib candy and put it in one of these restaurant style squeeze bottles. You can get these at any restaurant uh, outlet store or you can even uh, get them online. Um, maybe even talk to Craig at uh, Texas Pepper Jelly. Maybe he can get some of these in. You never know. Good idea. I know that his Craig's barbecue sauce is a squeeze bottle so you don't absolutely have to use one of these but it's still nice. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to apply the rib candy. Now, what I like to do is swirl it on. It gets it a nice, even coat. All right, now, you don't have to be perfect with this. You don't have to coat the entire rib. That's all right. You're just adding flavor. All right. And then what I do for wrapping, to bring one side up, I bring the other side up. All right. And then I roll it down. I just keep folding it over. All right, look at that. It's coming out very nice. Just fold it, fold it, fold it. Let me get this paper under here real quick. All right. Now here's the thing with foil. There's a lot of different thickness in foil. You want to try to get a foil that's pretty heavy uh, thickness. Um, and then you find where your rib is, put your finger there, and then you fold it over. Now, why do I do that? because I don't want to rip the foil with the bone because sometimes these bones will start to, the, the meat will start to pull back on the bone. And by doing this, you're going to prevent the foil itself from tearing. All right, now we got that first one done. I'm going to set this aside. And we'll stick it right here. Now, I'll take this second rack. Wow, don't, doesn't that look beautiful? It's got some amazing colors. Now. If you saw me spritz these ribs, what I was using was apple cider vinegar. Now I know a lot of people use either apple cider or apple juice or some other liquid. I like to use the apple cider vinegar because it just gives it that nice little tart flavor with the vinegar on the meat itself. It's not very powerful, but you know what? It is there and it does add another layer of flavor. Now you notice I'm not putting the brown sugar on a heavy layer. It doesn't need it. All right. Once again, we're going to take our rib candy, we're going to apply it generously. Look at that. It's going to give it a nice sheen, some beautiful flavors, and you know what? Your family's going to love it. All right, check that out. Perfect. Now, for the peach paper, I'm pretty much going to wrap it the same way. Bring it up. Now the only difference is, is instead of folding the sides inward on the meat, I'm going to get it all nice like that, I'm folding it under, all right, I'm folding it under, because what I'm doing is I'm creating a seal on the meat itself, because that's how it's folded over, I wouldn't be able to seal it. Now. I'm going to take these two racks of ribs and I'm going to put them back on the smoker for about an hour, maybe two hours at the most. So we've taken this rack of ribs. This is the one that was wrapped in tin foil, and now we are going to add some sauce to it. Once we add the sauce, I'm going to put it back on the smoker for a minute or two, just kind of glaze it over a little bit, and then we'll cut it up and I'll let you guys check it out after that. So like I said, Craig's barbecue sauce here, um, they came out a little while ago to where They've got a squeeze top and then the bottle is plastic so it makes it easier to apply the sauce on. The way I like to do it is just apply it generously. Yeah, just get it on there. 
And as you get it on there, make sure you, you can get those rib bones and everything like that. Make it look good. You know. Um, if you want, you can use a uh, pastry brush. Brush. They're those silicone brushes, kind of spread around evenly. I just like to put it on there and just let it ooze and goo all over the place. You know, if you get a little bit too much on some of it, what you can do is you can uh, lift it up a little bit on one side to have it run off, just like that. Now, as you look at that, whew, doesn't that look good so far? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this entire pan and I'm going to put it into the smoker. And then this way, um, it just makes it easier for when I transfer it from the smoker to the house. All right, now we're going to slice the ribs up. They've got the rib candy and their Craig's barbecue sauce on them. This should be a delicious treat. So I'm going to start out with the, the, the thicker end over here. I'm just going to slice down on it. And these things are looking great. Oh my goodness. These are tender too. Now these aren't like fall off the bone tender. Um, oops, missed it. That's alright. But that's these are going to be delicious. I guarantee it. Where are you? There you are. Alrighty. So, let's take a look at these ribs. I'm going to take this one right here. Bring her out. Turn her to this side. Look at that. That is a beautiful looking rib. I'm going to stick these on the tray here. And we're going to bring them in. We're going to have a good old feast. Oops. Mm -hmm. 